Now, you will notice here in this particular deck, I have an illustration on the foreground, which is going to be this little shape. You'll also see in the background, I have an image. You'll also see I have this little icon here. Let's go over to here to slide number two. And you'll see here, I have this image on the bottom. Now, one thing that's very important to understand that when you select an image, you're going to get a contextual tab. We've discussed contextual tabs in other places. Now let's go ahead and see how we can work with contextual tabs working with images. So if I simply select my image here, you're gonna notice, yes, it gets highlighted. But in addition to that, you're gonna see I have this new tab that appears called Picture Format. Now this is gonna give me the extra options I need to format my picture as well as do a whole bunch of other tools. Let's go ahead and click on that. And you'll notice here all these options appear. Now I'll show you a nice little trick that anytime you want to get to it, you just simply double click on it and it automatically opens up. If you single click on it, a lot of times it's just going to show the tab, but not open up all the options within the tab. So again, just double click on any image and this is going to pop right up. Now we're going to explore a lot of these options in the course of this lesson, but right now I just want you to know how to get to them. Now, how do we even bring in images to begin with? Well, let's go over to here to slide number five. And I want you to notice that on this particular slide, I have a placeholder ready for my images. In an earlier lesson, we talked about content. Now, when you have something that's like content, you have the ability to click on an icon such as this, and it's gonna automatically just go directly to that command to bring in pictures, for example. We had content that included tables and chart and smart art, et cetera. In this particular layout, it just got the option for an image. Now you could use this little placeholder, but if you didn't want to, or if this placeholder wasn't available, there's other ways to do it. Let me just go ahead and show you this first way. I'm gonna very simply just click on this icon and it's gonna pop up and take me directly to my computer. So let's go ahead and go to our class folder. And here we are inside of 5.1 and we have a JPEG called boardroom. So all I'm gonna do now is double click on that and it pops up right inside of that box, which is really nice. It understands what the dimensions need to be. It understands where it is gonna be located on the slide, et cetera. Let me go ahead and undo that. And this time we're gonna have nothing selected. And you know, in fact, I may even have no box here whatsoever. So I'll go ahead and hit delete on my keyboard, get rid of that. And at this time I'm gonna bring in an image without having the placeholder. So very simply, I'm gonna go over here to insert and then this first choice right below insert is pictures. Now when you choose pictures, you're gonna see you have three different options here. You can insert a picture from your device, from stock images, or online pictures. If I choose stock images, you're gonna see it's gonna take me to this dialog box. They've got a whole bunch of preset stock images. You'll also notice how it's all broken down into different categories, like what kind of images do you wanna bring in? Is it icons, cutout people, stickers, videos, etc.? Really nice that they give you that. I'm gonna go ahead and close out of that. If you go over here to online pictures, this will essentially take you to the Bing search engine for all of the Bing online pictures available. So I click on that, and now you're gonna see here I have the option to put in a search term through Bing, we're gonna find all kinds of different options available. But in this case, let's go ahead and just find that same picture again. I'm gonna click on pictures, this device, and now it takes me right back here. I double click on that, and now notice how it just kind of puts it right smack in the middle. Well, guess what? I can move this wherever I want, including the place that I was at before. Okay, but also note that if I was using my placeholder, I still have the option to move that around and also resize it. Now let's go ahead and see how we can do some basic movement and transformation of our images. So if I feel like this is too big, I can resize it just by coming over here to the corner and just dragging it in just like that or making it bigger, dragging it outward, just like that. Now please note, it does not have to fit perfectly on the slide. So if I only want part of this on here, I can just move it off the slide a little bit. And if you'll notice here, I'll go ahead and zoom in here, notice how whatever's showing on the slide within the dimensions, that is what's gonna show on the slide itself when you're in slideshow mode. So let's go ahead and keep an eye on that as I move this over a little bit, and you'll see how that's gonna adjust over there on the slide preview on the left-hand side. So pretty smart design. Now, let me go ahead and close down my notes by clicking on notes down below, and I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so we can see a little bit more. Now, every image you work with, in addition to having these little bounding boxes, has this little guy up on top for rotating your images. So if I just move my mouse over, you're gonna see I get this little kind of circular arrow, and I can simply click and drag on that, and then move it wherever I like, however I like, rotating it. 
as such. Now, one quick thing about resizing is I recommend do not resize from the top, bottom, or sides because you're gonna warp your image. So let's just go ahead now and just resize it going this way and you're gonna see how I lose perspective. I am no longer constraining the proportions. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo that come right back to this and let's go ahead and do it from the side this time. Notice how everybody gets a little bit kind of skinny here. I go a little bit wider and everybody gets a little bit chubby. All right, so let's go ahead and undo that and then undo one more time and then we are right back. Now, one last thing to understand about the picture format contextual tab is that it will disappear once I stop selecting the image. So if I click away here, you'll notice that no more picture format contextual tab. If I double click back on there, it comes right back. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.